and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. We're going to take a look at now is probably he's the most scummiest person on YouTube on the entire platform. We've seen him do tons of things in the past, and I think we all know who we're on about. We're on about um J Station. This guy needs to be banned off YouTube, one hundred percent. We're going to watch a video first, and then we're going to discuss it. What's up, guys? As you can see by the title, straight away, my girlfriend Alexia has gone. Rest in paradise. We know this is going to be fake, and it's just so... It's so infuriating that this... And... As you can see as well, and at the end of this, I will show you a few things that have popped up with this video. Because I have watched it once before, but I just wanted to see the well, you people to watch it as well. I never wanted to make a video like this, ever. Yeah, which he does. He does them all the time. Last night... No tears, see? Trying his hardest. See, almost laughed then, almost giggled. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this. Yeah. 43 seconds into it. Last night, we lost Alexia. Almost laughed again. Wiping his eyebrow. To a drunk driver, guys. First of all, let's just stop it right by there. Because people have been digging around already. This is how much this video has infuriated so many people in the YouTube community. Mudaha, some ordinary gamers, fantastic uh, channel guys. Go check him out. I will leave a link below to his video. And what it is, he knows where this guy lives because he lives in the same area. Anyway. Mudaha, he actually rang the Toronto Police Department and asked, has there been any drunk drivers or has anyone, you know, any accidents or any been there any deaths? And the police officer went, no. They've even got the video. Mudaha even recorded the actual conversation with the police officer who said, there's no one by this name and there's no one who's uh, been killed in the last uh, couple of days regarding this. So straight away, this guy is a piece of shit. And he keeps wiping his eyebrow, not his fucking eyes. It really infuriates me. To pick up something for our video we were making on our second channel. Right, there we Dream go. Team. Nomineo said she's his first, uh, we got another channel. Oh no, she's gone. Oh, oh, oh. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Sorry for crying. No, I know you guys are going to make fun of me for crying. Make fun of me for crying. There's no tears. But you will see something She's in the image. It's actually soon. quite funny. Look at him. He's all smirking and he's trying his hardest to get tears out. But he leaves now and comes back. Second. Watch. Last night around oh, look. 11 Water on his eyes. Splash, splash. Telling me what happened. As you guys probably know, we had a channel together. Called Dream Team. Second mention of the channel. 100,000 subscribers. We had about five videos that we had oh, filmed. Oh, coincidence. We were ready to post on that channel. Her <laughs> just want to smack him. Her dream was just to get a million subscribers, and we were so. Yeah, that was a main dream, close Leo. to doing that, when guys. She, you were. No, you were. You were 700,000 away. After talking with her parents, we both agreed that I should post the remainder videos that we filmed for that channel. On she died last night, well, when this video was released, on the 21st. So, died on the 20th, and in the space of 12 or 24 hours, he spoke with her parents, who are grieving who are so emotionally distraught because their child is gone. Is it okay if I make money off your daughter? He's one of the sickest people on this platform and YouTube allow him to continue. He's, 
he's caused so much outrage in the past regarding all of this because he's bought slaves off the dark web. He bought a psycho off the dark web. He bought a witch off the dark web. And again, someone, you know, someone like myself, my videos get demonetized because I, I mentioned someone's name. But this guy is making money because the ads are truly there. Because again, as you can see here, the ad is there. And it's Jeff Bloody Goldblum. Oh, really, it's really annoying and it's really disgusting. In the actual commentary, in the actual down below in the comment section, he's like, oh, thank you guys. This so much means the world to me. But he's put the category under entertainment. Yeah. On that channel, it was her. It was her dream to get a million subscribers. So, out of respect for her, because I know that's what she would want. Oh yeah, make money off me, babes. Post those videos there. They've been together after a couple of months. <laughs> after those videos. See, he smirked. He's laughing his ass off. Look at him. He's literally oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, wipe your eyes, mate. Get the crocodile tears. Come on. He keeps smirking as well. That's the thing that After annoys me. Videos, there's no more. <laughs> Alexia. <sighs> I know she's in a better place right now, guys. I just had to tell you guys what right happened. Right now. I'm probably not going to be able to upload on this channel for a while. I hope you guys can understand. But he actually posted a video the following day. Yes. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what is known as the clickbaitiest twat bag ever. He's absolutely disgusting because I really cannot see how YouTube are allowing this to happen. And when you read the comments as well, it's kind of sad and pathetic because a lot of his fans... He's got 5.5, is it? He's got 5.4 million subscribers. The majority of them are under 12s because they're, they're all like, oh my God, I feel sorry for you, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh my God, hun. And all that bullshit. But it's not, you know, it's literally, he's like, oh, I got all these mother <laughs> Literally. This guy is what is, he's just, he's just the bottom of the barrel, man. Like she meant everything to me. She's been living with me for the last four months, guys. Living with him for four months. So... Obviously, her next of kin would be him, if you, if you think about it. Because that's where she's living, her stuff's there. So why, did he, why didn't why did he get the call and not her parents? Like she's been my world for the last four months. And she's just gone, just like that. Everything was going so, so good with us. I never met a girl like her. I probably never will. Another. Almost laughed again, then did you see that? Anyways, I'll probably post those videos on that channel, Dream Team. Oh Link's look! Be in the description, the third, guys. Fourth mention! We recorded five of them that were ready to go. But it's so infuriating, I'm telling you. Rest in peace, Alexia. It's just, it's one of the worst you things going. See, oh, it's on there. Dream Team, straight away. I'm telling you, man, this guy. I don't know what I'll do without you. I don't know. I'll just fucking get off my screen. But this guy, man, I'm telling you, he is. Everything about him is just wrong. Everything. He literally, he takes the mick out of mental health. He takes the mick out of addictions. He just doesn't care. As long as he can get that little bit of money and squeeze anything he can out of it. He's like, ha ha ha, look at those idiots. They're f***ing stupid. And to be honest with you now, this has gone way too far. He is literally, his entire channel is just fraud. That's why it is. The entire thing is spam. He's lying about anything, he's clickbaiting everyone, and YouTube are allowing this, even though it goes against terms and conditions. This is one of the biggest problems now, because a lot of us, a lot of people are having issues with our videos getting demonetized. 
Not this guy. He's got ads all over the place. You've had MX plays, you've had the quartering, myself, Deep Humor, Yellow Flash, Tug, everyone. We are having our videos demonetized because we may say a certain word and the algorithm be like, oh, we don't like that. But this guy here, he goes along and he literally says that his girlfriend has got killed by a drunk driver. He's faking someone's death on the internet for entertainment. That's not right. That is absolutely disgusting. YouTube needs to do something about this. Come on. And, you know, like he said, literally in a description is the channel, is the second channel, the dream team. And it's like, oh, there we go. Clickbait straight away. He has five videos. So they're going to post all of them and he's not going to post anymore. But the following day after this one, he posted, I went to the site. And it's just, it's just the biggest, most cringiest. It's almost like I am literally drugged up and I don't know what I'm watching here, literally. It's like, oh my, you know, like, seriously, is this guy, is this guy for fucking real? Uh, it's literally, I think it's mostly because why well, myself and tons of other people are infuriated and really pissed off about this is because one, when you lose someone, it's absolutely devastating. The last thing on your mind is making a video. That's 100%. We've seen YouTubers before do shitty things. We know this. Logan Paul, we saw him, you know, actually do a proper real life dead body. This guy is just the cringiest mother who is just spouting bullshit and YouTube allowing him to get away with it. It's wrong. So if we can, get on your on Twitter, put the hashtag BanAmJStation, tag YouTube into it as well so they see it. It's gone viral at the moment and literally this video has because he's done this nonsense and YouTube need to see like, oh yeah, we need to get rid of this because this is absolutely disgusting. Nothing else to say.